Hello, this is Mr. Chavry. We are here with some more Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. Uh, last time we got some new, uh, so I think we got Zephyr last time. Or, no, we've been training up Zephyr. We're going to try to train up Eclipse. I'm hoping that it evolves soon. Um, and soon we'll be getting the last member of our team, so uh, we'll be doing that soon. Before we do that, I think you got to go up here. <clears throat> in order to get the item you need to get this specific Pokemon. And this is the good rod. Um, so of course there's three different fishing rods. Uh, the old rod, which gets you weaker Pokemon. Good rod gets you pretty much decent Pokemon. The super rod gives you the best. Um, but you get that later on. Anyway, what we're going to do now is actually go up here to the lighthouse. Um, Olivine's lighthouse, also known as the glitter lighthouse, okay. And we're gonna try to train up Eevee, try to get it to evolve soon. All right, that's the elevator. It goes straight up. You don't have to do any of the battles. Guess not. Actually, you do. We'll grab a super potion here before we go battle. Yeah, you can. You can't go in this way. You have to go from the bottom. But yeah, you can see a Jasmine in there, the gym leader. Um, so what we're going to do is just head back down and try to go up the stairs. That's the plan. And there's some items that you can grab in here there's a lot of good training to be had too uh so what we're going to do is try to battle everyone get some experience and i feel like this this uh lighthouse is probably like a tourist thing you know people come here to check out the lighthouse which goes into my question of the day what significant buildings have you seen basically um where have you went on vacation and tour um i've actually seen the eiffel tower Back in the day, I went to the Eiffel Tower, I went to Paris, I saw Notre Dame, uh, I saw the Louvre, um, and more recently, I went to D.C. for Pokemon Worlds in 2019. Uh, we saw all the cool monuments there, uh, you know, like the Washington Monument. Uh, I'm going to have to switch out. This thing is getting destroyed. Uh, we'll get Rocky in here. We saw the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Monument, that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't realize there was a bookstore in the Lincoln Monument. Um, also, there was uh, the Reflection Pool. Uh, I didn't mean to click Screech. <clears throat> we saw the Reflection Pool. We saw the White House, uh, the Congress Building. Um, Vietnam Memorial. There was just a lot of stuff in D.C. that we saw. I'm go ahead and Rock Throw. I need to put Rock Throw up there instead of Screech. You need to sometime go through Onyx's move set and just switch the order around. All right, gentleman Alfred. All right, and this guy will actually ask you for your number. Um, he just asks you for rematches, so nah. There is someone in here that could be useful if you wanted their number. Um. And we'll find that person soon. Oh my gosh, where are you? Okay. I need to use a potion. An eclipse. Eclipse kind of took some damage there. Actually, do you have any good moves that you could learn? I want you to know something that can actually do some work. Strength, maybe? Eh. All right, well, I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and move Rocky's uh, move set around. Do it like that. Screech is, <clears throat> it, it could have uses, but it's not the best. Um, so yeah, what, what uh, significant buildings have you seen? Put that in the comments, let me know. Um, I feel like for some people it would be like different, depending on where they live, you know. 
All right, Eclipse. I wonder if Eclipse can... See, Tackle is just not strong for Eclipse. Um, that's like a terrible move. It's sad that we still have that move. Um, let's get Zephyr in here. Let Zephyr get some experience. Oh, hypnosis. What is your ability, Zephyr? I know this thing can get the early bird ability, but it doesn't seem like this one has the early bird ability. It does, though. What? If you do, how come you keep sleeping on the job? It's like it's... Every time it's been put to sleep, it just stays asleep. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We actually woke up. Nice. Early bird's actually not a bad ability for this thing. Especially with so many uh, Pokemon trying to use Hypnosis and stuff like that. Oh, that was a crit. That was rude, Poliwag. <clears throat> You're just jealous that we're not going to be using Poliwag on our team. Um, if you want to use Poliwag on your team, it is a decent Pokemon. Um, you can evolve it into Poliwrath or Politoed. I've never used Politoed, so um, I feel like that would be an interesting mod to go with. Um, I'll just stay in with Zephyr. Um, but yeah, I've used a Poliwrath on my team before. Um, and it, it's it's like a physical attacking water type. <clears throat> it also gets e, the uh, fighting type. Um it really doesn't have that many good fighting type moves in Gen 4. That's the sad thing about that. I want a U turn here. Pivot into something that can kill this Poliwhirl. Uh, it's a good thing that we put U turn on this thing. Yeah, you know, a Shadow Ball would not have done the job. Omphali will come in and do the job. Um. But yeah, there's a lot of trainers in here. Um, Alright, we're actually faster. That surprises me. I'm always surprised when Heracross outspeeds something. I mean, we do have five levels on the thing. Alright, Sailor Huey. He will also ask you for um, your number. Uh, he will actually give you uh, proteins if you beat him. Um, I'm going to say no. But that would actually be pretty helpful if you're trying to um, get like a specific stats on your Pokemon, which actually I probably should be doing, but I'm just going to just, you know, do the training as is. Um, I need some more potion items. I can give an HP up to someone. I'm going to give that to Eevee, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. PowerPoint up. I'm going to wait on that because those actually come in handy later on when you have like your full moveset realized. Alright. Now we have this guy here. He's actually a bird keeper. That means he's going to have some birds. He actually has a team of Pidgeys. Um, and this goes, this actually go, shows the weird uh, level curve of this game. Uh, so yeah, well, you remember in uh, our first badge, we were facing a Pidgeotto. I think it was like level 12 or something. Um, now we're facing level 17 Pidgeys. It's not much of a growth. And this guy actually does have level 15 Pidgeys on his team. So yeah, it's not... <clears throat> I do have to agree that Johto kind of has like a wonky level curve. It really does. I'd be a fool not to admit that. I'd be a fool not to admit that. We're just going to stay in and let Zuko get some experience. You know, we haven't really let Zuko just run wild on a team. And we might be able to do things with Ember. We've got 10 levels on this thing. Um, just go for Ember. Don't have to worry about using all our power points or Fire Blast. All right, and now Pidgey. I'm gonna face this Pidgey, and with that, all the Pidgeys are gone. Actually, I'm, I'm not even counting. 
I'm not even paying attention to how many Pidgeys are left. Oh, you still have more Pidgeys in the... Okay, this is the last Pidgey. <clears throat> yeah, it don't even matter. We got some Roast Pigeon. Roast Pigeon. Um, funny story, like, when my sister was playing Pokemon, there was a little time where she was playing, uh, Pokemon Diamond. And I had, you know, I had Soul Silver. she had Diamond, she wanted a Pidgey. So she told me to catch her a Pidgey and name it, um, Chicken. So I did. She had a Pidgey named Chicken. Um, down here... We're going to see... This person standing in the corner. This is another bird keeper, I think. No, this is the last. Where? Oh, that's yeah, that's if you go down. Okay, so she has a Meryl. Um, I guess we have to switch because we're at not at the level. We don't have a good move for Eevee right now. Um, yeah, hopefully Eevee can, you know. Learn something. Uh, we're gonna brick break. Meryl has the fairy typing now, but in Gen 4 it did not. So we're just gonna brick break. And that should do some decent damage. Level 26. Umphali holding the team on her big bulky back. Um, I'm grab this item. Swagger. Okay. It's not bad. Alright, this guy here is Gentleman Preston. And what you want to do is actually go out this door. Um, the lighthouse here in Gen 4 is actually different than in Gen 2. In Gen 2, you just keep going up and then you'll eventually get to a point where you have to like fall down little holes in the ground. But not in this game. In this game, you just keep going up until you find this door. And we're going to go into Rocky. Might as well. Don't have our water type of choice yet. <clears throat> but we will. We will. I have a specific water type in mind. I'm going to rock throw this thing. And I'm going to miss on purpose. Because what that does, that, that makes the Growlithe happy. It makes the... Listen, Growlithe went to chase the rock like it was a ball. That's, that's why I did that. Yeah. That's the story I'm sticking to. Um, but yeah, Eclipse is at level 18. I still don't know any good moves. Growlithe. Um, what is Zephyr and then Shadow Ball? I think that's our, our way forward. I want a good Psychic move on Zephyr. I'm actually disappointed that it still doesn't know a good Psychic move. Um, I don't care about that. And Shadow Ball is our main attacking move. Boom. It's going to be a two-hit KO. We've got decent special defense on Zephyr. If this thing hit me with like a Flare Blitz or something like that, that would be scary. I don't think Flare Blitz is here in Gen 2. I think that's actually a Gen 5 move. Correct me if I'm wrong. Flare Blitz was introduced in Gen 5. <clears throat> He's going to use a full Restore, which is actually annoying. I'm hoping for a defense drop. Special defense drop, that is. Give me a crit. Come on, Zephyr. Crit that doggy. Okay, it was a roll. It really was a roll. Level 22. Nice. Alright, so now we can exit here. Now we fall. We fall. Look at that. That is a pretty big fall. Like, how did it, how did I not break my legs there? I feel like that's a thing that people doing this probably talk about a lot. It's like, oh, that's a big fall. I uh, got a nice rare candy back here. Oh, what item can I? Okay, what move can you learn, Evie? Can you at least learn something so you're not? Can you learn payback? No, you can't. That's sad, Evie. What can you learn? I don't have any good moves. I could probably give you strength. <clears throat> but I want to wait on that.
All right, so there's this guy right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and battle him. This guy should have team of crabbies, maybe. Am I looking? If I'm looking at the right person. Yes, this guy has two crabbies. Uh, Krabby is a decent water type if you want to use it. It's one of those uh, physical attacking water types, which are actually kind of you know the thing about it, it's kind of rare. Most of them are like special attackers, but there's a few uh, physical attackers if you want to use waterfall instead. And Krabby is one of those. It's got pretty good attack. Um, it's got decent defense as well, and I think it's got pretty decent speed. Um, but it's not that great on the special defense side, so we can just smack it down with that. And we're just staying in. Let Zephyr knock out these crabbies. Easy, clean knockout. And... Not so easy and clean. Uh, Zephyr wasn't able to one-shot that one, but we won. We two-shot it at least. Uh, Zephyr's getting some decent experience there. Um, if you're able to get like you know proteins and carbos and stuff like that, that is a pretty good thing to use on your Pokemon. All right, so here's Bird Keeper. Um. And we'll just stay up there with our our eclipse. Um, yeah. Ooh, another building that I saw. This goes back to the question. Um, I've actually saw the Palace of Versailles when I went to France. That was really cool. That was amazing. Um, that was really nice. So uh, we also, like I said, we saw the Louvre, um, and I got to see the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is like pretty cool. It had like a whole section of the room dedicated just to it. Um, the other paintings, you know, were on the wall with paintings around them. Mona Lisa was there by itself. And there was like a crowd of people wanting to get a picture with the Mona Lisa. So yeah. That's pretty cool. We got to see... Um, what else did we see there? We saw a lot of cool stuff. We saw um, the... A little uh, plaza where the Bastille once stood. Um, the Bastille was like a like a stockpile of the king's weaponry for his army. And during the French Revolution, people stormed the Bastille, burnt it down, took all the supplies. There's some history for you. Um, anyway, we have easily take down Firo, and out comes the last Spiro. In terms of flying types, I feel like I like Spiro and Firo as like a, a team member a little bit more than Pidgey and Pidgeot and Pidgeotto. Um, I do like Pidgey, Pidgeot. Um, it is one of my favorite flying types. But I have to admit that, you know, having more attack is a little bit better. Yeah, so we'll just go up here. And here is these guys. There's... Two more trainers for us. And I think that's a photo guy down there. We might we might get a little snapshot. We might get a snapshot. This guy has a polywirl. Um I'm not too worried about polywirls. And just easily switch into awfully. And finish off the polywirl. <laughs> Hypnosis, are you kidding me? Have you noticed? It seems like every time someone throws a hypnosis at me, they, they, you know, connect with it. And that's just not right, Poliwhirl. It's gonna use Water Gun, though. That's a terrible water move. That's terrible, Poliwhirl. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. Anyway, Poliwhirl's easy to take out. Um, Eclipse... Well, when does Eclipse level up? Um... Don't think it has enough happiness to evolve just yet. We can actually get a photo. Let's do that. Yes! I haven't gotten any photos taken. Let's get one photo right here. Look at that. We get a nice little <coughs> team preview. 
Of course, Surf's Up's not going to be a full member of the team, but we'll let Surf's Up get some uh, exposure right there. You if you want to battle Jasmine. Yeah, so this person is, I think, our last trainer. Yeah, this is our last trainer we have to fight. Sailor Roberto. <clears throat> he has two Machops and a Poliwhirl, so... Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, we're going to go into Ophelie. And then Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace everything. You're on a focus energy. Um, I don't think it really can do much to my Ophelie. Um, one, one thing that I, I've always thought was weird was how bug resist fighting. I mean, if you think about it, you know, a fighting type could just smush a bug, but... They actually resist fighting. And I wonder what the reasoning of that. Maybe, maybe bug types buzz around someone that's trying to meditate, maybe? I, that's a good explanation I could see working. Anyway, uh, we got this Poliwhirl here. We're going to go back into Awfully. Poor Eevee. we got to do the switch train. Switch training for Eevee. Throw it out, switch out. Throw it out, switch out. Um, we'll just click arrow. It don't matter what we click because we're asleep for a little bit. Double slap. No Poliwhirl. That's not very nice. If I had wake up slap, that would wake me up. Wish it had wake up slap. It would just wake me up. Sure, it would do a little bit more damage than if it woke if it hit me while it was asleep. But you know, it'd wake me up. <coughs> Rain dance. Yeah, I think in the next episode we should be getting a new team member. Yeah, I think so. Um, go ahead and brick break. We're still asleep. Are you nuts? Are you crazy? Why? Why are we still asleep? Come on, awfully. Wake up now. Thank you. Took you long enough. Took you long enough. Anyway, with that. I'm going to go ahead and level up Eclipse. The rain continues to fall. I'm just going to switch to... Oh, I'm staying. I was thinking about switching into Zuko, but it's raining, so... I actually want it to be a good play to go into that thing. Quick Claw. I don't think Quick Claw mattered, honestly. We've been outspeeding everything. We've been outspeeding everything. I don't think a quick claw really mattered there. Sailor Roberto, you are overwhelming. Thank you. Lyra's calling. Let's just see what Lyra has to say. Hello, how are you? I was walking with Meryl, and I saw it evolving into Azumarill. I was surprised. I didn't think something like that would happen. She doesn't have a Meryl anymore. She has Azumarill. I'm going to grab the Super Repel. And now we go up the... Ladder. Now we can finally talk to Jasmine. Pokemon always keep the sea lit. Uh, there's a pharmacy. So yeah, this Ampharos is sick. She has to go... She's going to have us go to the pharmacy to get some medicine for it. Um, but with that, we pretty much completed the lighthouse section of Olivine City. What we're going to have to do now is actually travel to Cyanwood City. Um... And there you get the little pharmacy. There's a lot of stuff that we can do in Cyanwood. And they actually added some stuff for us to do there that we weren't able to do in Gen 2. So uh, tune in next time to see some of that. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.